Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Link's Awakening. This episode is kind of a bit of a cleanup of some additional stuff that I'd like to do before we worry about getting into the 8th dungeon. You might be wondering why I'm back in the Eagle's Tower. There's actually a couple of items that I neglected to get because I thought I was going to run out of time, but I actually finished that dungeon almost faster than some of the other ones, which wasn't on purpose. I wasn't trying to do that, but it is what it is. So anyway, went back in here. We're going to grab a couple of things. Actually, just one thing. The rest of it you don't really need. There's this item here. The orange crystal switch is up, which means that you're not going to be able to get it. But if you do flip it back to blue, you can collect the eagle's beak or the owl's beak, which will get you the hints if you need them. Popping into the map, this is where I can show this off the best. This item up in the upper left is the one that we're actually going to get. It's the only one that's really useful to us. This is a small key, which is used on the third floor. And then also on the third floor is this. That's the secret medicine that we already have that we don't need. So if we remember, that's the full restore. But if you have one, you can't double dip. So kind of useless. However, coming into the room, we fought the red Hinox in here. Falling down that hole. We'll let you pop up here. And with a little pitter patter, let's get at her. We will pick up. Secret Sea Show. Pretty useful, pretty good. So let's go ahead and warp ourselves out of here. I like the ability to come back into dungeons if you miss something. I'm not entirely sure how prevalent that is in all of Zelda games. I know that some of them you can come back. I know some of them do get kind of shut off. But I like the ability to go back and do that. If you miss something, it helps to, to reconnect what you were doing so we're gonna keep making our way back actually I want to see there was I'm trying to remember how to get back down from here there was the one room in this part of the area leading up to the Eagles Tower that I kept messing up because I thought I was doing it wrong turns out I wasn't there's just a gimmick to it that I wasn't really adhering to. Once I find it, I will show the world. So while it's early in the video, just wanted to go ahead and say thank you to everybody for watching and subscribing, liking. I am enjoying getting to reconnect with everybody and to have some discussions. I know obviously it's still early in this channel's life cycle, so you know, things are kind of few and far between, but that's okay. So for anybody watching now, thank you for everything. For everybody watching in the future, thank you too. Be sure to comment, rate. No, oh, no rate. Wow, that's 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 an outdated reference. We don't rate anymore. We thumbs up or thumbs down. So hopefully people are liking this stuff. Oh, I slipped back into my old self. Be sure to comment. Like or dislike. Subscribe if you haven't. Show this stuff to your friends, to your family your youth group, your, your social interests, networking, your coin club. I just went in a complete loop that was pointless. I don't know what happens if I go here. Oh, never mind. I felt like there was the one room that I needed to go in. Maybe it's this one? I don't know. If it's not this one, then it's the other one. We're having a good time. I'd see the other one. Okay. We're just bumbling around, having a little fun. But yeah. Just wanted to have people stay in the loop and, you know, still keep having fun with me. And if there's stuff that you'd like to see in the future or more of currently, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. And that was pretty cool, actually. Killed that fish in midair. All right. So we're doing great. All right. Anyway, that rune that I was referring to, I'm being obtuse about. I'm not going to go back and get it just because it's pointless. It's just rupees, but... In the early part of the game, rupees are kind of at a premium. If you're going to buy something like the bow, which is nearly a thousand, that can be really cumbersome to have to try to go back and get all that. However, as you get later into the game and once you've basically gotten all of the key items, there's not really a reason to have rupees, except for what I'm assuming they did on purpose in this game is when they added in that new dynamic which I'm not going to discuss right now but I don't love it I just know that 
all the things that are referring to that kind of Mario Maker stuff are expensive. So you might be wondering, why am I in here? I actually need to get the shovel just for a moment. Oh, I guess you can buy it. Never mind. I didn't know that. All right, great. So I guess you don't have to do any more trading. Cool. Well, that's good. I mean, once again, the rupees at this point in the game are wholly useless unless you're going to really pour your time and energy into the kind of mini game or like additional creative mode. What I don't know what you want to call it. I don't like it. So I'm just going to I'm going to do it begrudgingly just because I want to I'm doing it for you guys, for the fans. So I'm a man of the people. You know, what can I say? So, one important part of this game that was present in the original, which does have additional collectibles in it, is this mini game right here. It's actually a mini game that I do like. I endorse it. It's hard, but it's fun. So this is the whitewater rafting mini game, 100 rupees. And you might be thinking, wow, that's pretty steep. However, you can pretty much acquire that back really easily because there are prizes of rupees along the way. So there are two versions, which was only present in the original being the, the first. So Rapids Raid, it wasn't called anything, I don't think. But the first, you're trying to collect as many items as you can. The second one, you're trying to get through the course as quickly as possible. My preferred loadout in this one is the feather and the hook shot. I don't remember if the hook shot was a factor in the original, but I do know that the feather was pretty much a requirement. So the raft will be pushed along by the rapids. If you hold against the current, it does slow link down a little bit. You can jump, obviously. You can pull yourself back with the hook shot. So very, very important that you follow along to both. There are multiple sets of items that are being carried around by the little winged icons that you can see here, which is pretty cool. I'm probably going to screw this up horribly, so I apologize in advance at how um, inept I am at this at this mini game for children. So it's just it's kind of tough just to get yourself in the position to be where you want to be. The things that you can grab onto are these like little trees. Or bushes, or I'm not sure what those are. I've already missed the things that are good, but I didn't come here to collect rupees or anything like that. There's just two, two collectible items that I'm here for, so I'm gonna need to take multiple trips to get, which is fun. But yeah, it's it's not a horrible mini game. I mean, if you if you are actually a skilled player at this game, you can wind up picking up some pretty good stuff. It's just that the the directionality of this game, which I, I complained about once, is that it's not very, I guess, firm. I don't know what's like the best way to put it, but that's that's kind of a complaint that I've had about this game in general is that in the original, you know, you're going eight directions. It's pretty clear which way you're going, but in this one, not quite as much. It's not quite so clear. I think I can dig something up with my shovel here, maybe. Yes. So you can get a secret seashell. That is very nice. There is a chest right there, which obviously has a thing in it. We'll find out what that is. Probably not on this run, because I think I already botched it. You have to go down the rapids from the other side, which I messed up. There is another platform to jump down, which I also messed up. So we're doing great. This is a uh, high quality Let's Play content, everybody. So your hard, hard uh, earned dollars being spent well. All right, so would like okay, so we're not grabbing that. That's fine. Don't need it. So the hook shot does kind of give you a bit of a saving grace for when you play this game. Obviously, you see that there are plenty of cool, fun, interesting items that you can grab. That's really fun, and you can just rinse and repeat. And this guy will always ask you every single time what you'd like to do. I would love to not spend a ton of time on this because this game is pretty monotonous. I mean, it's not boring. It's fun to do. But the one thing that I get frustrated over easily is having to do the same thing multiple times. You know, it just feels like I'm kind of beating my head against the wall a little bit. I would like to grab that. 
Maybe? Maybe? Yeah. It's tough to position yourself because you're going to want to try to fire your hook shot and then fire it again really quickly to kind of pull Link back in the direction that you came. And a lot of the time it just gets really, really bungled down. You need to go all the way to that left side. So this run's already a wash. That's not, uh, that's not high quality content. I promise that this episode will not be exclusively about this. I'm actually going to try to burn through this area a little quickly. I'll recoup a little bit of the rupees in my stead. I believe, I can't see what those do. I don't know if that's 20 or if it's 10, but yeah, it's not too bad. You're going to want to go to the left side and, and swing down. It will bring you down around town. You can bring it around town, which is great. Everybody loves to do that. That will get you back into the area to collect the chest. And then the heart piece that's just hanging out in the open. Okay, so there are 20. Yeah, this, I mean, this is actually a decent way to make money if you are in need of money. The 20 rupee pickups are pretty good. Five of those will already pull you back into to even, so that's pretty good. All right, let's try to do this correctly for once. If this doesn't go well, third time's a charm, then we're probably gonna pull ourselves into a quick edit. Just because I don't want to dilly-dally, this episode has got a lot in it, and I don't want to spend too much of it doing this incredible minigame. So, I'm gonna try to pull it, there we go, there we go. See you guys, we're doing it. We're doing it for the kids. So we'll pick up the heart piece, that's great. We are at half a heart. There will be a wrap-up episode probably coming up, maybe in the next two or three that... No, 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 please. Oh, no. Oh, that's upsetting. That is, that is deeply troubling. Can we pull... Oh, wait, there's, there's a chance. There's a chance. Woo. Now, that was quality. Did you see that, everybody? Oh, it's just rupees. Never mind. I got excited for nothing. What does this say? Oh, thanks. Well, great. All right. Well, anyway, that's fun. One of the things that you can do in this Rapids ride, which I'm not going to do in this episode just because it would be very boring, and I've already played this minigame three times, which is three too many. Um, if you beat this Rapids game in a quick time, then if you speed run it, you can also get an additional secret seashell. There's also additional prizes, but I couldn't really care less about that right now. There, like I said, there will be a wrap up episode where I will be cutting around to different collectibles in the game that I didn't feel was a good use of our time here. So we will not do that, but we did pick up the piece of heart. We did get the secret seashell, so we're feeling pretty good. There is some additional collectible stuff in this one that we're going to do here before we traverse this little sneaky sneak part of the map. That's actually the way to the eighth dungeon and the final amount of things that we're going to do. So we're going to go back to Ukuku. Spend a little bit more time in Mabe Village. I'm just trying to get some of the things out of the way now just because I know that going forward it'll make my life easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it in advance that right now, looking at my item screen, I have 17 secret seashells. There's 50 of those. So at some point I'm gonna be collecting 33 more and I would love to not have to do a ton of that. So that will be the episode coming up where I will essentially just be cutting around. It may or may not have commentary, a ton of it, just because of how much cutting there's going to be. It might just be sped up to music. So, all right, so there's nothing to grab in here yet. I think it's because I need to give the one collectible that I have back to its rightful owner, which is right over here. If you remember, this is Old Man Ulrira's house. I hate saying that. That feels very wrong coming off my tongue. I don't know if I'm saying it incorrectly. Ulrira, Yor Yorira, like it doesn't, it doesn't seem like semantically correct. 
feels very strange, but we had the cheap GPU, if you remember. Putting it there. This man has a very marine-themed figurine collection for some reason. That rhymed. Marine figurine. Actually, I don't know if that rhymes. Sounds good, though. Sounds better than Orira. So, coming back in here, we can go ahead and continue to play the trendy game. There are two things that we're going to grab in here, actually. Both of them, of course, are on moving platforms, which you know how much I love. So, first we have the blooper, which I feel like I just missed. Did a great job. Got all that money from the rafting game just to screw that up. So, we're batting a thousand already. Love it. This episode is kind of just all about mini games, I suppose. So, in the past, the good technique to use is to wait until the item is basically just about on the far side of where the claw is. This is gonna be close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh, okay. So, as such, being a slimy, squirrely squid, getting the blooper is actually one of the hardest figurines to grab. Thankfully, we can do this 60 more times, which I hope I don't have to do, because this would not be a recording that you would probably ever see. I would probably go insane from that. So, hopefully we can nab the blooper here. No? Okay, great. Oh, that's wonderful. That makes it even better, because now I can't grab it at all. When you sign up to subscribe and to watch a D Mike Plays original. This is the quality content that you get, everybody. Just think about it. This is, in the business, what we like to refer to as pure excellence. Okay, so I got the, I don't even remember what these are called. This is part of the game that I've been referring to earlier in this episode that I absolutely cannot stand. But thankfully, what's nice is that the blooper now is stuck on the on the non-moving part of the of the game. So if you could not do this, oh please, this could be good. Cross your fingers and your toes, everybody. That looks like a quality catch. Netted ourselves a big one. All right. So no, we don't really need any more rupees. Like I said, they're kind of arbitrary after you wind up buying Manbo's Mamba, or no, sorry. Mm I, I'm getting so frustrated with what I was doing that I forgot what it's called. After buying the Mamu song from the maze. I don't remember what anything is called. My brain is absolutely fried today. So we're doing great. We're going to head over to the other mini game of Mabe Village. Well, we've got a little bit of time left. I think I already got the secret seashell from here. I did, but you can get a bomb, I guess. All right. So, something that's cool about the fishing minigame that might not be obvious from the get-go is that occasionally there will be a little bit of a glowing spot in the pool. And if that is done, that means that there's a special thing to catch. So, we'll see how well I don't do. All right, so we caught Blooper from the Trendy game. And we can catch him here. It. They. I don't know. Whatever Blooper identifies as. We can pick him up. Now the difficulty of catching Blooper is that Blooper is not your... Is not your normal fish. Trying to catch Blooper... Will... Usually result in a loss if you don't know what you're doing. Or if you're like me, and you... Hold... <laughs> Pull the lure back too fast, we'll recast. The show bomb, so we're gonna recast. Stay away from me. Yeah, there's a couple iconic, Dis not Disney, Nintendo. You gotta wait till he stops pulling away from you. And then you gotta mash a little bit. When he pulls away, you have to be careful or else your line will break. This is kind of the, one of the situations where you don't want to have to 
try and, uh, you know, you can go balls to the wall with the other fish. It's pretty easy. I apologize for my butt mashing in the background, by the way. But when Blooper pulls away, if you get too wild with it, he will break your line. So it kind of defeats the purpose. We're getting there. We're getting there. So hope you can all appreciate the click clack. I'm just kind of shocked that it's not making my voice stutter a ton, but we're almost there. Using the middleweight lure is pretty good for this one. It gets the bigger fish uh, an easier catch rate just by virtue of what you're trying to do. We're almost there. Blooper is a tricky one. Come on, buddy. Always have hated bloopers from my days playing the old Mario's. Come on, we're almost there. Oh no, you little jerk. Oh goodness. Okay, well. That was a waste. We almost had him. That was pretty suspenseful though. We'll try again. It's a lot of work. Come on, blooper. Where are you going? My guy. Oh no, he's swimming away. That was our chance. It's okay, he'll be back. There's actually one other thing that we can try to get while we're here. All the way at the far end of the pond. If you can avoid the fish being too attractive. There's something that's hidden behind a little bit of the of the weeds down there, the seaweed, whatever that is. The algae on the bottom. We'll do a we'll do a catch-a-thon later on just for fun. Just wanted to see if I could do it first try. So if you can see that, there is a little hidden thing here that you can slowly reel it in. Nope. Oh, come on. No, I can't see it. I want to try that one more time. I actually would like to have that item. It's not a requirement. It's not an item that is a deal breaker, but I am trying to show you everything that this beautiful game has to offer. So it's stuck probably behind that lighter colored one where the big fish is. So. Screw you, big guy, all right? You got greedy and you're selfish. You're shellfish. All right, so once he turns away, I don't know if I can really hear it. I gotta listen in. I'm not sure if I'm getting it or not. There it is. All right, hopefully he'll ignore the lure. Great. We gotta go fast. Ugh, he's in the way. Well, you can see it at least. I think the easiest way to do this will probably be a... a quick reset of the pond. Let's try this again. And there might be a special fish we can... we can catch. Yeah, 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 thanks. Oh, there... yeah, I don't know if that's a special fish or not, but... the big fish is gone, so... hopefully we can reset and grab that hidden item down there. That's the one thing about this minigame that's kind of frustrating is just that the realm of success, the threshold is kind of small, so it helps to really clear out some of the other fish. If I don't pick this up this time, it's fine, but I would like to get it just by not having to deal with this again. Oh, Link, come on, buddy. What are we doing? That's gonna be tough. I don't think we're pulling this off now. I done goofed. I goofed it. I just wanted to see if I could. I don't know if you can all really tell what that is now. You probably should be able to. If your peepers are working. Nope. I didn't want to catch that. You could go away. Thanks. That's not for you. Did not consent to you taking my lure. My guy. We'll try to catch this big guy though. I think I'm too far out for the, the item. You couldn't tell it's a bottle. It's related to the other ones that we had. Same thing. Does the same exact thing. There's three of them in this game. The only way to get the third one is through that additional additive to this game, and I don't like it, so... We are going to... I just feel like I'm not making any progress. All right, so I'm gonna try real quick to see if I can snag that bottle down there. 
It just, the lures just sink so slowly. Please. I'm gonna try to drag it along the ground. Very slowly. Try not to have Mr. Tuna Fish over here. I don't know what that is actually. Steal it from me. At the very least, I want to come away with something. Oh, you. Mm. Well, at least it's easier to get now. We're going to keep. I'm going to stick this one out. I think we can get it. I feel pretty good about it. Obviously, what the game wants you to do is to clear out the pond first because that will allow you to have more free space to navigate and to not be a fool like I've been trying to grab this bottle, but there you go. We got it. We got it. Feeling pretty good. All right, come on. Just right back. Oh, thank goodness. We did it, guys. We did it. Woo. All right. No, we will come back and do more catching in the collectible-a-thon episode that is to follow. But we do have Blooper from the figurine game. That actually belongs to Mr. Olrira as, as well. So we will return that to the pedestal in the back. So there it is. All right, great. So we're gonna do a little bit more cleaning up in the next episode. We'll turn in some of those seashells and then in doing so, we'll be able to head on our way to the eighth dungeon. So thanks again for watching everybody. Make sure to like the video, comment, let me know what you're thinking. Keep watching, keep enjoying, and I'll see you next time. Bye.